Good morning, I'm Clint Griffiths. One plant in the U.S. is now the first to turn ethanol into sustainable aviation fuel. Company officials say Lanza Jet Freedom Pines Fuels in Supperton, Georgia will produce 10 million gallons of SAF and renewable diesel each year. USDA Secretary Tom Vilsack on hand for the grand opening, stressing the opportunity ethanol to SAF production can create for American farmers. So this fuel replaces fossil jet fuel. It is a drop-in fuel. It has the exact same characteristics as traditional jet fuel because we want it to work in existing infrastructure and on existing aircraft and existing engines. So you don't need to change any of that. So the beauty of this is it has the same characteristics, but it is cleaner. At the end of the day, if we're really to mitigate the consequences of a changing climate, the transportation sector clearly has to get to a net zero future. In order for it to get to a net zero future, uh, aviation uh, has to get there as well. Uh, and it can't get there without a sustainable aviation fuel. So this is a day to celebrate a very significant step forward. The company's ethanol to SAF technology was originally developed in collaboration with the Pacific Northwest National Lab back in 2010. Its first commercial flights were completed in 2018 and 2019 with Virgin Atlantic and Al Nippon Airways. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins me. And Michelle, one study says production of sustainable aviation fuel could be extremely beneficial for farmers. That's right, Clinton. The Iowa Renewable Fields Association released a study looking at how the SAF market could impact the Midwest economy. And it looks favorable if corn farmers can increase the carbon intensity of American ethanol. The study concluded that a 35 billion gallon sustainable aviation fuel market by the year 2050 would require another 5 billion bushels of corn annually. All across the Midwest, it would require over the next 20 years, 63 brand new 200 million gallon a year ethanol plants. And Midwest farmers would stand to gain $441 million in additional income from that growth, which is a big boost per farm. We can add to it at least $11,000 just from the extra premiums that you get selling it to a ethanol plant because they tend to pay more than the surrounding opportunities in, in co-ops. However, Shaw says this is only if farmers are given the opportunity to access the SAF market. Currently, U.S. corn farmers face challenges due to the carbon intensity of American ethanol. And so conversely, their study looked at the results of farmers not moving forward on SAF. If we don't create a new market, we're going to lose 20 million acres of corn production because we won't need it over the next 20 years. That would be a, a, a $60,000 hit to a farmer who farmed 1,000 acres. Only one U.S. plant with carbon capture and sequestration produces SAF-friendly ethanol, while Brazil leads in SAF-compatible ethanol production at 7 billion gallons annually. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.